There are some class norms, and so you guys, I know them all. Um, you guys are, who, which teacher did you have that I know? Did, did you have Ms. Ashraf? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you had Ms. Ashraf in sixth grade, and you had, who else? Did you guys have Ms. Jar? Ms. Jar. Yeah. 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 Ms. Jar, I thought, with Ms. Jar and Ms. Ashraf. You guys haven't? Uh, Mr. Bolds yet? Did you guys have, who else did you guys have in sixth grade? Ms. Sharma. Ms. Sharma, yes. I, I actually trained Ms. Sharma when she first came to uh, CCMS. Um, so I've, I know the expectations of this school. I actually know the expectations of middle school because I've been teaching in middle school for seven years. Um, Let's, I have a list, but I mean, you guys know the expectations. What's one thing that you guys think is an expectation of the classroom? Yes, sir. Following the four Ps. Following the four Ps. What's one of the four Ps? Because we actually we actually do this at our school. Yes. Polite. Polite. Productive. Productive. Prompt. Prompt. And the last one? Fair. Fair. There's a lot in that, right? The four P's, prompt, productive, polite, prepared. Let's, let's think about specific things in this classroom. How can you, what are the things you can do in this classroom to be prompt, productive, polite, prepared? I'm just going to raise your hand and if, if you want. Help her and see, like, trying to say, no, no. It's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by saying this, and it's, I would like to think I'm a fairly respectful person, but I realize sometimes people can, can get offended or feel like they're not being respected. Um, but I like to think that every year I start by giving my entire respect to you guys, and I honestly don't know you, and I don't know if you've earned my respect yet, but I just start by assuming that every one of you has earned my respect. I do. I like to be respectful. I dress nice for you guys. I dress nice. I dress this way to be professional. I, I enjoy having fun in class. But there's another side of that. It's the hard work side. And my job here, the reason I get paid is to help you guys. You. It's not to help myself. Sure. If I wanted to be a teacher because of the money, that is poorest decision of my life. Do not make a lot of money. I do it because I enjoy it and I enjoy helping you guys. Um, I'm here to work for you. That doesn't mean I'm going to let you get away with whatever you want to do. But I'm here to work for you and to benefit you. A um, couple of things on the list and then we go wrap up and go. Um, let's see. And you guys are working together. Ask questions. Oh, I'm sorry, you had a question. I was going to ask you what did you want to know? You were just such a trooper. Just like... Okay. Gold star. Gold star. Where? I'll see it. <laughs> um, ask questions. If you don't get something, and I know it's it's a thing. In middle school, like people are gonna think I'm stupid. People are gonna think I'm ask questions. Whether it's to me, whether it's the person next to you, ask questions. Ask a lot of questions. Um, it might be embarrassing, but ask them. Let's see. Raise your hands. You guys, you guys have all done done that so far. If you have a question? Raise your hand. Or if if you need to need to ask them, raise your hand. If you have a small thing to say, and I think Albert, you already did this, but if, if you have a question to the person next to you, totally whisper it. That's fine. But as long as you're not disruptive, and that's that's okay. Um, we're gonna have a pencil sharpener. That's not that little hand pencil sharpener. So you guys you need to sharpen your pencils. You guys are going to eighth grade and next to your high school, you don't really have to ask to sharpen your pencil. 
However, if you're getting up and you're doing one of these, if, remind me what's your name? Hold on, no, it's Eddie? Yeah. Eddie's like, I gotta sharpen my pencil. And the pencil sharpener's over there. He stands up and he's like, I gotta sharpen my pencil. Did he really get up to sharpen his pencil? No. Just, if you're going to sharpen your pencil, sharpen it. Um, you can ask. Let's, let's see. Um, if you're chewing gum, I, I hope you guys know the policy about gum. You guys, oh boy, you guys don't know the gum policy. Yeah. Yeah. It's $10. Same on our school. It's 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 ten dollars. And you know the thing is, after eleven years of teaching, I will say somebody was like, was like, unless you have a green tooth back there, then you're chewing gum. So just don't do it. Um, I try to be as respectful as possible. The other thing is, you're welcome to drink water, and Jennifer, I saw you doing this, but since it's the first day, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, you're in trouble now. But that, unless it's water, unless it's water, you shouldn't have it in class. You're welcome to have water in class. He's <laughs> mean. Yes, so in the future, tomorrow, you could have water, but please do not have any flavored water. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, this building has bugs, ants, and they're, whenever there's, but mister, I'm not going to spill it. It happens every year. It happens every year. Mister, I'm not going to make a mess, and it's not you. It's, I want it, I want it just as a normal for everyone. Um,